white flag. California Lightning Sprints finishing up their final heat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Low Budget TV's broadcast here at Bakersfield Speedway. We come into you with this a little bit late as heat races have already begun. And there's a story behind basically the adventure that's been going on with Low Budget TV today. I'm Jeffrey Best. Joining me soon will be Tommy Mason. And folks, earlier today, we were miles and miles south at Irwindale Speedway, Southern California's Irwindale Speedway. And down there, well, if you look up in the sky, you'll see just a couple clouds here. But I'll tell you, on the other side of the grapevine, it is pouring down rain. The night was canceled. That's where we regularly work. You see us actually donned out in our shirts here. Well, you don't see it, but we're all ready to go working at Irwindale Speedway. However, the night's been canceled from rain. So, we turned around. We took a couple hours to drive back up north to Bakersfield Speedway. And here we are, ready to bring you the heat races as many as we possibly can and all the way through the night we thank you for joining us here uh, also being broadcasted on imca.tv to my understanding so uh, very excited to be bringing this to everybody uh, like I said we're low budget TV if this is your first time joining with us here either on YouTube with the heat races or for the entire night this free broadcast we're happy to have you yeah. And we'll do a couple in just throughout the night because of the way timing worked and everything just to uh, Warm everybody up. So we're excited sport mod action getting ready to go And we're uh, we're prepped we're here and we're hot Racing gonna get going here in just a minute Heat race number one for the sport mods here Getting ready to go Brylin Holder in the 09 machine will be starting to the inside of the 17 of Tracy Childress Green flag is in the air Tracy Childress New to sport mods, but not new to Bakersfield Speedway regular driver in the American stock class And the Childress name a big one out here in racing She's getting some pressure from the 16 machine in second. That's the 16 of Rick Childress Jr., the outlaw. Behind them, the number five, that's Jeremy Hoff. The 40 is Nick Spainhoward, and rounding out the field, the number seven, coming from the mini stock class, it's Gary Spiller Jr. Saw the 17 of Tracy Childress have to gather it up, probably trying to drive it a little bit like an American stock. And Spiller is gonna spill it in turns one and two. Gets it going, no caution's gonna come out. Battle for the lead continues. <laughs> Top four here, lap number three, lap number four now on the board. a total of eight laps. Tracy Childress in the 17 machine going to pull it off early. She still had a position up on Gary Spiller. Spiller will now move into the fifth position and under the threat of going down a lap to the outlaw in the 16 machine. Off in second, starting to lose some ground to Childress. Holder been able to hold it up in the third position. Spain Howard kind of uncharacteristically hanging back. We usually see that 40 machine make a charge. Not sure if the track's not to his liking or if he's just saving it for the main. The outlaw up on Spiller now to lap him. White flag's in the air. Checkered gonna fly out of turn number four. Childress will win the heat race. Spain Howard will not get the spot on the 09. Holder holds on to third. Eight laps complete. More heat races to come for the sport mods. Getting ready for heat race number two for the sport mods here at Bakersfield Speedway. The date April 25th, 2014. 15. <laughs> it's, I was doing good too. I was doing really good. Usually I mess up the day. Green flag is in the air. We're three wide into turn number one. And someone ran over a water bottle. 
Up to the early lead, the number nine machine, Jordan Hager. I'm surprised the caution hasn't been thrown. If it was NASCAR, it would have been. Yeah, for the water bottle, exactly. 83 looking to the outside. He's looking for the lead. That is Jason Nation who's going to take it over with a little bit of pressure still from the nine machine. 33 started near the front. That's Kel Kanky, but he slipped back just a bit. And the guy who started on the pole, the car I was referring to that I don't think I've ever seen before, the one ARM, one arm <laughs> of Chris Swank. 22C rounds out the field. That's Michael Johnson. Battle for third. I love, I love dirt track numbers. This is a bit of a bonus coverage. I'm sure Jeffrey mentioned it. We had a uh, rain out where we were scheduled to be Irwindale Speedway and made the... Uh, oh! And it did that to us. We Swank didn't want to hear about it. We spun out in the rain, but we kept it going and drove right up here to Bakersfield Speedway, about a two-hour drive. And we made it happen in an hour and a half. So, uh, <laughs> yep. So if you're looking for a uh, silver Toyota Camry... Thanks. Jason Nation, that 83 car, good looking machine, getting ready to take the green. It's in the air. Yeah, Tommy, so we were supposed to be out at Irwindale Speedway and uh, happy to bring this live free broadcast of Bakersfield Speedway. We literally threw this together for you fans as we were on the road. We called the powers that be and said, hey, we're going, we're going to Bakersfield Speedway. Let's make it happen. And we all did a group effort to make it happen. So thank you all for tuning in. And I hope that you can share the word and see some uh, great dirt track racing all yeah. night. Yeah, I mean, hey, you're tuning into some free racing. Go ahead and share it on Facebook. Let the world know. Because as far as I know, everywhere else has rained out. <laughs> and we're going to get creative with you here tonight. We're going to get on our uh, Low Budget TV Facebook page. And uh, we're going to chat throughout the races and uh, ask you, the viewers, some questions. And you can tune along with us. Yeah, so uh, just to get ready for that, Low Budget TV on Facebook. Shoot that page a like, and uh, we'll have some fun with you guys. Checkered flag comes out for Jason Nation in the 83. Good battle for a second. Hager's going to hold on to it in the 9. Kel Kank in the 33. And Johnson in the 22C rounds out this heat race. He raced number three for the Sport Mods, getting ready to go green. Jared Schweitzer and Levi Kiefer bring it to the green. The number 97 got a little sideways there, and we're going to go yellow. Complete restart. I wonder if the uh, timing and scoring lost reception, too. Maybe. Maybe they did. <laughs> well, uh, Tommy, we have two number three machines starting up. We do. We got two number threes. And then no one else in the same numbers. Jared Schweitzer on the pole, the number 33, black machine to his outside, the 3 AC, Levi Kiefer. Gary Dutton in the number 97, winner last night at some track north of us here in Bakersfield. And the 51, that is Cruz Griffith, and rounding out the field, the number 25B. How about this, Jeffrey? Zach Boytnot. I recognize that name. Graduate from the mini stock. We have a lot of mini stock graduates. Awesome. Sport Mods getting ready to go green for the third heat race here at Bakersfield Speedway. Kiefer's going to choose a high side. We're three wide a bit going into turn number one. Kiefer's flipping and sliding up on that high side. So that, that top side uh, still getting worked in. Jared Schweitzer in the second spot in the number three, the 51. Cruz Griffith in the top three. Gary Denton in fourth. And Zach Boyton out in the 25B, still getting his feet wet in these sport mods. Mini stock graduate here at Bakersfield Speedway. We saw him win a couple of races last year in the mini stock. That's, that's got to be quite the jump. Yeah, absolutely. Battle for the second spot starting to brew up. Jared Schweitzer getting some pressure now from Cruz Griffin in the number 51 machine. Right there behind him is the number 97 of Gary Dutton, who's watching a change for second, but a bit of contact. And now we got three cars duking it out for second. It's a good thing there's no such thing as payback in short track racing. No, not at all. The Schweitzer holds on to the second spot. Cruz goes back to fourth. 
and really starting to lose handle on that 51 machine. Oh. And the 360 award goes to Boyd not so far here tonight on IMCA TV. Yeah, no offense to Cruz Griffiths, but I think the only guy cruising right now is the one in the lead, literally. Levi Kiefer. And the number three AC Jeffrey last year was a year unlike any driver we've ever seen out here at Bakersfield Speedway. He had won anything and everything at all these other racetracks, and it took him halfway through the season here at Bakersfield Speedway to have won a main event. He always won the heat races, he always won the trophy dashes, and he's gonna start out here tonight winning heat race number three for the three AC Levi Kiefer. Schweitzer in the second spot, Dutton third, Cruz Griff is fourth, and Boytnot mm. getting lapped unofficially. That concerns me a little bit. Why is that? Think about it. There's yeah, uh, he's, there's he's, there's three number three. Okay. And this was the third race. Mm -hmm. And there's three sides in a triangle. And there's three angles in a triangle. Yeah. Illuminati confirmed. Done deal. Taking you along the ride. Hopefully, you guys like what you see. Maybe we'll be able to have you join us for more broadcasts throughout 2015. Green flag. Heat race number four for the Sport Mods. Jumping to the early lead. That's the 20 of Kevin Johnson. Driver that started on the pole to 117 of Tim Paddock, but he has a lot of pressure from Tina Pounds. Ryan Tina, 68J of Billy Simpkins. Keeps it off the wall in the 5K of Brenda Kirby. Rounds out our field. Brenda Kirby kind of has a Days of Thunder look. Kinda, yeah. Add, you know, Tommy? Now it's not looking good at all, though. I'm looking at Brenda's car. It looks like the left rear spinning. And, and like the right rear isn't, which would tell me that car might have a broken axle. That's exactly what that would mean, and I see what you're seeing. There's no speed out of that 5K machine, but you can see the wheels turn. It, it's, yeah, it's like it's not grabbing any traction. And it looks like she's just about had it with that car. Battle for the third spot was a battle for the third. Now, Brenda did grab a main event win last year, so we know that 5K is very capable. Uh, speaking of wins, also the 68J machine sitting in third has grabbed a victory this year in this division. And here's your leader in the number 20. Which Johnson is it this weekend, Jeffrey? That's Kevin Johnson. Okay, so the same 20 driver as it was last time. Tina Pounds, a driver that we're not used to calling Tina Pounds. But we're quickly getting used to it. Got married during the offseason, so congratulations to her and Brad Pounds. We'll see Brad take to the track later on. As far as I know, and this is the fun part that everyone gets to experience with us, as far as I know, we've only missed one set of heat races in completion, which was the uh, Lightning Express. Checker fly coming out for the 20 of Kevin Johnson. Pounds and Simpkins rounding out your top three. Paddock, and then uh, the struggling Kirby. And that is unofficial. IMCA Stock Car is getting ready for their first heat race of the night. The number 44, Rick Childress Sr. brings the field to the green. Ron Hurt in the 17, the 233 machine. That's Ryan Rice. Yeah, but we're not going green. We're not. That's the second time in a row that we've had an issue. I think the only one who realized it, by the way, was Childress. Your front row. Your front row is the only one that realized it. <laughs> but Ron Hurt's on a mission, though. Well, why shouldn't he be? The reason I was uh, bringing up our YouTube page, by the way, and like I said, we uh, post heat races. Those watching the heat races right now on YouTube, hi. Um, and the reason we do that, Tommy, it's it's a bit of exposure, A, for the tracks that we film at, a bit of an extra thank you, and B, it kind of helps promote what we're already doing. Yes. So I uh, just wanted to point that out. That uh, you're going to hear us kind of jump into announce mode. It sounds a little bit funny, but uh, you'll get used to it. We're still trying. We're, well, we just sound funny in general. Yeah, that's for like, sure. Like, I mean, we could be voice actors for really weird looking cartoons if we wanted. I think race cars do a fine justice and, for us. And I don't mean that in a complimentary way at all. <laughs> all right. Well, 
Shall we try this one again? I don't know. You want to? I guess it's really up to these drivers if they want a good restart. Or yeah. yeah. I'm down. Let's try it again. Let's tell yeah. them. All right, drivers, get hey, get with hey. it over there. Back Come straight on. away, going under turn. Do it. Yeah. All right. I think they got the message. Childress has flipped me off, so I figure we're good. He heard it then. Rick Childress Senior, bring the field to the green. Rice on the outside. Hurt in the number 17. The 6B machine Gina Hendricks and rounding out the field in the 45 who have to hit the brakes a bit Troy Petit yeah hurt in the 17 did not have a good turn number one that really set both of those drivers back senior in the number 44 Rick Childress senior out to the lead but look at Ryan Rice looking down low into turn number three puts the car in pretty good, but no grip down low. He has to go back to the second spot. You can just see how much the back ends of these cars like to kick out. Absolutely. Rick Childress Sr., the driver probably in this entire series here, that has the most amount of laps out here at Bakersfield Speedway. Tommy, I think it's safe to say the 17 of Ron Hurt had the wildest night last time out. Yes. I think he wrecked a total of Oh, Hendricks out. hard into turn number three and hard into Rice. But she continues on into the second spot, but she's all of a sudden got caught up by everybody else. A swarm is behind her. And I'm not sure if Rice is appreciative of that move. We'll find out and these laps to come. Joe just loving what he's seen in his rearview mirror, which is about nothing. But yeah, I, I think Hurt, what, he wrecked, in, he wrecked kind of big, actually, in the heat races last time. Hurt definitely uh, had to scramble with that 17 car. And Hendricks, see that steering wheel all the way locked to the left with the front end not doing anything. Slides up into Ron Hurt. So Gina Hendricks, our exciting driver of this heat race. Well, they don't call race, you know, race night socials for a reason. <laughs> White flag out for Childress in the field. I just wonder if we will see a little bit of paper. Well, Ryan Rice is right there behind Hendricks. Last lap. Out of turn number four, the 44, Rick Childress Sr. Checkered flag, and he raised number one for the INCA stock cars. I guess that could be payback. Just beat the driver across he the line. He got her arrow loose. Ron Hurt in the second spot, and Ryan Rice makes his way back up to third. For the green of IMCA Stocks, heat race number two. Green flag is in the air. The 99 machine of Lauren Dierman leading us into turn number one. A great start for the number five of Joe Humphrey. Five alive. 77X of Pat Biggs had to kind of woe it up through turn number two. He's going to slip to fourth. And the car in third, Dave Bauer, or as we like to call him, zoom in on the rear of that six car, Chicken Lips. <laughs> I forgot about that. Biggs is struggling in that 77X. That, that front end is higher than the Eiffel Tower, I'm Let's telling you. Let's take a look. It also has no grip on that front end. <laughs> I think that's because all the weight's in the back. He forgot to empty out his groceries when he got home. And I forgot to uh, no. hit you the spun, microphone. You spun out the 77X car. I did. Caution flag lap number two for Tommy's audio problem. I, I took out the audio and he took out the tractor tire. So, I mean, it's so funny, and I want to kind of hit upon this a couple times tonight, but six laps to go, two cars left, the 99 machine. D'Armand leads us into turn number one. We were just talking about the cushion, both in turns one, one and cushion. two, or the lack of cushion. This would not be your springboard bread. You want to... Oh. That's not going to work for the battle for the lead. The best part is that's going to go in the rec video, and I'm going to say, what the heck was I talking about a springboard bread? <laughs> like, what? Well, if this caution comes out, we, I think, are down to one car. Because I think it's a one and done rule. Caution, and that might also mean checkered. Just take a look. <laughs> well, we've also seen our share of weird races here at Bakersfield. 
It looks like Humphrey is going to remain on track. The w they are already giving him the one to go. <laughs> Man. So tonight we got the IMCA Modifieds, IMCA Sport Mods, IMCA Stock Cars, Mini Stocks, California Lightning Sprints. So you're in for a good night of racing. You're watching heat race number two for the IMCA Stocks. We go green. Now in the last restart we saw Humphrey pose a challenge, of course then spinning it out in turns three and four. See what that five car can do this time. So it's literally a second chance. He's to the inside looking for the lead. Diarmond has to wall it up. And we're halfway through this heat race. Humphrey really working in that low line, Tommy, after watching him during the entire caution period trying to move up. It looked like pack in the cushion on the high side, but not utilizing it at all. It might be a two car race, but it's a good race. It's more like a duel. I think it's staged. Could be. We'll find out on the last lap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they flip over like uh, Ricky Bobby and Jacques Debris. Flag is in the air for Diarmond in the 99 machine. Oh, uh, Diarmond slips up. This, Humphrey looking to the inside. This could be a staged race. <laughs> <laughs> side by side on the final lap. Humphrey going to spin it out again. It's definitely staged. That was too planned. Oh, Humphrey in reverse. I was hoping he was going to try and finish the race like that. Diarmond wins the race. We're kidding about the staged part. Yeah, we, we are. But... You tell us, did that not look staged? That was funny. Like, that was too good looking. That was great. Like I said earlier, it might have been a two-car race, but it was a damn good one. I'll give you that. Well, that rounds up the heat races for the IMCA stocks. Heat race number one for the IMCA Modifieds, the 51B Brian Clark leads the field to the green. Justin Schweitzer in the 2J machine, the C9. They, it's weird because the green's out, but I don't think the flagman waved the flag. There it no, is. Oh, that's the third time tonight. What's up with these drivers? Yeah, what I saw in that was uh, our our pole setter, or I should say the guy starting on the pole. Um, Are you talking bad about Brian Clark? I'm going to, no, not bad. Just, oh, just, just point out what I saw. Okay. He bunny hopped. He, he hit the gas, let off, hit the gas again, and it that's jumbled hot. up. Can't do everybody. That. You can't do that 51B Brian Clark. You can't bunny hop. We've discussed this. Kangaroo jumping is the only thing allowed here. So And you have to do that over a tractor tire to make it good. Yeah. The C9 Chad <laughs> What are we doing on this thing? What we always do. Oh man. Chad Reichenbach and the number C9, the number 24 to his outside, the West Coast Wild. This is how man. we say one to go in uh, Bakersfield, by the way. You don't point a the finger, cone. you hold up a cone. That's right. The West Coast Wild Man on the outside of row number two, the 24, Roger Holder. Figure eight happening right now. IMC stock car. <laughs> Inside row number three, the number 174, new kid on the block here in the IMC Modifieds and making his name for himself early on with the great runs here lately. Ethan Dodson and to his outside, the number nine, Triple X, Cheddar Cheese, Chet Reeves. Uh, here we go again, maybe. I don't know. Now, that one wasn't on Clark, though, if they didn't like the start. Uh, we're going. We're making it happen. Battle for the league. Top three under a blanket. Going into turn number three. Justin Schweitzer in the lead by just a hair. Holder now looking to the inside. Going into turn number one. Oh! Slide job. Wasn't clear, but makes it happen. No nope. free wide down the back straightaway. The Roger Holder, the West Coast Wild Man, makes it work through turns number one and two. And you see the groove starting to wide out from top to bottom. I was going to say the nine of Chet Reeves probably got here the same time we did. Yes. Usually he does that. This is an aggressive heat race. 
Ethan Dawson diamonds the corner now to the inside. Battle for the second spot, three wide, and Clark gonna spin it around off a of contact with Schweitzer. That'll bring out a yellow on lap number four, halfway through this heat race. I do think mini stocks are actually next. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to let you know. And the black flag coming out for the 51B of Brian Clark. So one and done rule in effect here tonight at a Bakersfield Speedway. Getting ready for the restart, lap number four. Halfway through this heat race, number one for the IMCA Modifieds. Holder, Schweitzer, Dotson, Reeves, and Reichenbach. Reichenbach trying to do something down low. That car not getting any grip out of the corner. No forward bite at all. Roger Holder in charge of this heat race. Um, four or five car lanes and extending it lap after lap over the second spot, Justin Schweitzer, who is now getting some major pressure down low from Ethan Dotson as Reeves spins it out in turn number two. So the battle to watch is right here for the second spot as a white flag flies. I can't imagine the 174 is going to do anything crazy here. Oh, he made it work. Diamonds the corner again and makes the move to the inside for the second spot. Roger Holder out of turn number four is going to take the checkered flag. Who will get second spot? It's going to be Schweitzer holding on over Ethan Dotson. This track already looking really racy. Maybe I should have clarified. I don't think he'll do anything crazy relative to him. That was fairly normal for Ethan Dotson. Getting ready for heat race number two, IMCA Modifieds. Starting on the pole, 07X, that's Troy Morris Jr. It is outside the 198. A driver that I'm certain at some point in 2015 will make it very memorable. Robbie Sawyer. Could be tonight. It could be tonight. The 77 is Bill Bartels. And the Bill's outside is number five machine of Brett Bennett. Running out this field, the 28P of John Piker and the 396 of Alex Wilson. Great flag is out. Oh boy, a little bit of stack up there. Sawyer jumping to the early lead. Bartels falling 2-6. Brett Bennett in the second spot, the 5B winner of the main event last time out here at Bakersfield Speedway. We weren't here, so you know that he wants to do it in front of our camera. And Piker, early exit for the 28P machine. John Piker. Oh boy, Bennett slipping through that turn three and four. Alex Wilson in the 396. Kind of hanging right in here with these, uh, I, I, you could call regulars here at Bakersfield Speedway. The 396 is a machine I don't recognize. The name, however, I think I do. Yeah, he drove the number 36 last time we saw. Yeah, Santa Maria. Battle for the lead brewing up. Bennett and Sawyer. Now we reference the excitement level that Sawyer can bring to a racetrack. That driver simply does not want to finish anywhere but first. I know that sounds like a normal race car driver, but uh, I guess you could also say he likes to ramp up the aggression too. I want to take a look. Look at that 198. That car is driving beautifully out here. We're going to zoom into the steering wheel and you can see his hands doing very little work it seems. Maybe it's on autopilot. Nicely done. That car is looking really good. And then the 5B Bennett though, he is on the charge though. Maybe he's got the car to beat, you never know. Yeah, Tommy, I think it's safe to say with these modifieds, if you have them handling right, you're doing more steering with the throttle. More car control. Oh, the battle is for the lead, and it's on the final lap. Lap number seven, next time by, they'll see the checkered flag. Bennett looking to the low side. Sawyer riding up high. At a turn number four, it will be Robbie Sawyer in the 198 machine, holding on for the win. I like Bill Bartel's new look. Yeah, how about that? He used to drive in the late model division. Yeah, he got rid of fenders. Cut those things off and made it modified. 
three for the IMC Modifieds. We go green, the 17 in. Your pole sitter, Steve Nolan, getting passed though by the 5W, Larry Wise, the 15. B machine, how about this new paint scheme? Brad Pound. Number 5K, that's Mike Kirby in the 5L, Cody Lane. I think last time we saw Brad out here, he was actually in the four car. You're right, on opening night. Oh, Nolan up the track and not getting the wall. But that's as close as you're gonna wanna get in here tonight. That car is slipping way high. The Dominator, they call him out here at Bakersfield Speedway, Brad Pound in the 15B machine, normally black and neon yellow. I've seen this multiple times. Watch Laney on exit of turn number two. 5L. See that left front picking up. Out of the corner. Hikes way high. Look at that thing. More than any other modified here tonight. And now making a move to the inside of the 17N for the third spot. Steve Nolan. Larry Wise. Our leader, holding a very considerable distance over the second spot, about four to five car lengths. Brad Pound's closing in little by little, but I don't know if he's got it for the win. But the best battle to watch is from third on back. Tommy, with Laney's car handling like that, hey, I imagine it's not a preferred handling. I don't know. What could be causing that? Probably definitely a, a soft right rear. White flag is up flying. You can see that car really sink down on the right rear. So you don't think it's pixie dust? Yeah, who knows? Who knows? That guy's from Torrance. You never know. Near the beach. Out of turn number four, the 5W Larry Wise. Checkered flag, and he raised number three for the IMCA modified. 15B pixie dust. What the hell are you talking about? 15B Brad Pounds and Steve Nolan, the top three. Was that Brenda Kirby? Mike Kirby. Mike Kirby. Okay. Oh, I just I saw Kirby. Brenda's and I'm like, Did Brenda is Brenda doing double duty? The answer is no. 